ladies and gentlemen. This is always a treat, because my first guest tonight is an NBA Hall of Famer and host of Inside the NBA. He currently serves as a studio analyst for the NCAA tournament right here on CBS and TBS. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Charles Barkley. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Always, always nice to talk hey, to I you. I am glad to be here. Happy to have you. Everybody who has a talk show knows you want Charles Barkley on because the, you, the man knows how to talk. <laughs> and he's not afraid to talk. We can make a good living like that. We can. You sit in yeah. a chair, you talk, they write you a check. Yeah, but I get, like you talk to people. I just get to watch basketball and talk about it. But to, you gotta to, meet, peep, you, to people, though. Yeah, but you, can meet, you meet some interesting people. I do, yeah. yeah. Charles Barkley, that's yeah. one of the interesting people <laughs> I meet. Right. Now, I want to talk about I want to talk about uh, I want to talk about March Madness uh, in just a minute. But first, you have made some waves for weighing in on the Jussie Smollett controversy. Yeah, you, you had some advice. Oh, when you commit a crime, don't write a check. <laughs> uh, do not write a check. The sound, the sound, no, the, the sound, sound advice, sound wisdom. Now, what do you make of the charges being dropped? I think that we all lose. I think my black friends. My gay black friends, I think they lose uh, because there's all re repercussions when you are uh, a minority. There's always a double standard. You have to understand that and accept that. For every black gay person out there, we lost. And uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know that kid. I wish him nothing but the best. But you have to understand, you have to always look at the big picture. Like, you know, there's a lot of gay kids out there who are struggling. They were, they're getting beat up, they're getting bullied, and things like that, and that's not good. And then you see, you know, there's this tenuous relationship between the black community and the cops, and we made the cops look really bad in this scenario, and there's probably gonna be some resentment. So, I, I, the bottom line is, everybody lost in this scenario. Mm. Yeah, it's not good. No. <laughs> well, um... Thanks not only for being here, but for, for being on CBS tomorrow night. Yeah. That means that I don't have to work for the next two months <laughs> because we're preempted hey. uh, by March Madness. So thank you for just, you know, carrying it, the weight. You know, this is the best time of the year for me because there's nothing like March Madness. Nothing can screw up March Madness. Go, uh, go They're pretty good, Oregon is. But let me tell you something. March Madness is so good, even Kenny and Shaq can't screw it up. <laughs> I mean... Well, it's, it's, okay. it's just unbeatable. You and I have a, a little bit of uh, gambling history uh, in sports. Yes. We, we, we bet on uh, uh, Golden State uh, versus Cavaliers twice. Yes. You won m m first year. I won the second year. Yeah, so we need another bet. We're even. So, uh, who are you, you, you actually for? didn't pay me the first time, though. We no, went like, double or nothing. We went no, double or nothing no, the no. next year. We went well, double the, or nothing. The best way to be friends, if you pay me the first time, you can't just keep saying, I'm, let's make another bet till you get even. I'm, see, I'm learning from you. I did, yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm new to sports Yeah, gambling. the best way, yeah. like, like, if you borrow money from somebody, yes. the best way to be, remain friends with them is to actually pay them back. Write yeah. that down. Yeah. But not with a check. Not, no, not with cash, a check. Cash, cash. Okay, so uh, who's your team this year? Well, my team is, I picked Virginia to win the whole thing. Yep. But, but... But I'm very proud. My team, my Auburn Tigers, we're in the Sweet 16. Oh, you're not, you're not uh, shy about that. This is you hiding your allegiances <laughs> right there. That's you right over hey, here. Hey, listen. At Auburn. Okay. I'm, I'm proud of my school. I, you know, I coach Bruce Pearl and those guys and my kids. Mm -hmm. I call them my kids because, you know, they're 18, 19, 21, 22. Yeah. I'm so proud of my college. I cannot wait to Friday night. Okay, who are they playing? The North Carolina Tar Heels. Okay, Tar Heels. All right. John, you pull for the Tar Heels, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You like the Tar Heels? I like the Tar okay. Heels. Uh, how about this? Would you want to bet again? Yeah, of course. John and I, and John, you have to help me with this, because as okay. a South Carolinian, I'm not allowed to pull for the Tar Heels. Oh, I see. I see. My I wife, My wife would not allow me to do so. Okay. But, okay, so we together will pull for the Tar Heels. Oh. You pull for Auburn. Yes. I'll make you bet that if... If, if here is the ugliest tie we could find. <laughs> and if, 
I win, you have to wear this tie on the air. Uh, and if you win, I have to wear this tie on the air. Uh, I'll tell you what. Depending on what happens Friday night, yep. I mean, I'll either wear, I either wear it Sunday or you wear it Monday. It's a deal. We have a it's deal. A, it's a deal. Yeah. It's a deal. I'm with it. I'm with it. I like that. Man. Yeah. I'm going to have to go deep, 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 deep in my closet <laughs> to try to find something to match that. No, I'll mail this to you. I'll mail this to no, you. No, I'm go in ahead. New York. What? I'm here. I'll walk it over. You walk it over. We should watch the game together. Uh, I'm a, come, you, if you came by the studio, the guys would go crazy. Really? Yes. I'm known as a big sport fan. You know, no, come by the studio. <laughs> Where is the studio? It's somewhere here in New York. I don't know exactly where it's at. <laughs> I got plans. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got plans. Now, here's the deal. You know, we had uh, our friend Matthew McConaughey over here, yeah. and he goes he's, up, he's he a, pumps up the team yeah. down at UT, down in Texas. We have a camera right here pointing at you. Do you want to you wanna pump up your Auburn? Which one am I looking at? Right there, Three? right there, right there. Go. OK, Auburn, listen to me. When you growing up as a little kid, you know the big programs. North Carolina, Duke, Kansas, Michigan State, UCLA. We're Auburn. We're a family. You get a chance to play against North Carolina, one of the best colleges in the history of college basketball, and March Madness. Let's shock the world. Uh, All right, let's try UNC. Are you UNC? Listen up, right over here. Listen up, UNC. Listen up, Tar Heels. I have no idea what that mascot name means, but it doesn't matter. You've got tar on your heels. That's good in some way. And I'm from South Carolina, and I forgive you for your barbecue. You can do it. Dig deep, find that extra gear. Do put the round thing in the thing and put it through. I don't want to wear that tie, please. Shock the world. OK, uh, let's talk about this. Now, you got to know, here is, here's the, what is this, what is this, the 64? What is the 68. Uh, the 68 right there. And you've got, you've got to know something about all these teams, right? You've got all this up in the old, uh, old noggin up there. A lot of stuff up there. A lot of stuff. Let me, I'm going to quiz you. OK. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to throw a dart at one of these teams here. OK. And you just tell me something about them. OK, ready? Um, uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Buffalo? What do you think about Buffalo this year? Well, Buffalo's had a good couple years. They got a coach named Nate Oates. He's done a fantastic job. Uh, they are a, a good-sized team. They're great offensively. They're stingy defensively. Uh, you're going to have to play well to beat this team. OK. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. Quiz me. Grab me. Quiz right. me. Quiz me. Try, right? And I can do that. I can do that. Hit me. Yeah. UCL. UCF? Yes. Oh, UCF, man. What I admire about that team is that they are so strong on the fundamentals, okay? They're not flashy, <laughs> but that game, that game, who are they playing against? They, they just lost to Duke. They just lost to Duke, and you know why? Yeah. They, they really concentrated too much on the fundamentals. They should have, <laughs> they should have been a little flashier. They should have been a little flashier. That's their problem. That's their problem right there. All right. That's their That's problem. That's all you gotta T do. Tough break, they should have asked Hey, but you first. always tell people, 90% of the people at home don't know what the hell going on either. <laughs> They're going to believe whatever you say. Seriously, Blake. You should go into politics. <laughs> <laughs> I would vote for you. I would vote for you. Hey, 2020, man, I would vote for you. Yeah, man. Who would vote for Charles Barkley? Yeah. Hey. Think hey. about it. Hey. We need somebody. <laughs> Hey, we need somebody. Uh, we have to take a break. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Charles Barkley.